Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do a PC health check uh, if you are looking to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11. So the easiest way to do this is to go down to start and if you uh, type in settings, you go to settings here and then you want to go to update and security. Now inside of that, if you want to go to Windows update, you go here and you can click check for updates. So as you can see, it says download install. So I'm ready to install Windows 11. The thing that's kind of silly though, is if you have something that isn't meeting the requirements, say you need to enable TPM 2.0 or something like that, it doesn't tell you. All it says is just check for updates. This isn't here and it just basically says, here's your latest, here's the latest update and it's just you know some random update. So the way you can uh, do this, so you can actually see what you need to upgrade to Windows 11 is if you install this PC Health Check, you can do it that way and it tells you what you need to update or fix. So if you search PC Health Update, I'll put this link in the description, Microsoft Support. And then if you just scroll down here and you click this, then it'll get you uh, the install, what you need to install, which is basically this here. So we're gonna double click that. And we'll install this PC Health Check. Okay, so let's open it. And now it says at a glance, you know, check now for Windows 11. So you want to click that. And my PC is ready to be upgraded. But what you can do is you can do see results. So it tells you what you need. You got secure boot, TPM 2.0, processor is fast enough. You have at least four gigs of RAM and enough disk space. However, I did notice that it said that I was good to go, uh, specifically this, this here. So basically, you need 64 gigs of free space to be you know, allowed to install Windows 11. So at the time, I had 9 gigs, and it still said you're good to go because it's just looking for system storage total. So I have a 256 gig hard drive. And so 256 is bigger than 64, so it thinks that I'm good, even though I didn't have enough free disk space. So just keep that in mind that, at least for this one, it wasn't totally correct. Everything else on here is correct. So just keep that in mind. But basically, it tells you here what you need to do to fix it. And then once you fix all these, if you run it again, it says good to go. Then if you go back into the settings, like I was before, then it'll say, like it says online, yay, you're ready to download Windows 11, go for it. So anyways, that's how, that's an easier, kind of a, a more uh, detailed way to tell you what you need to fix if you want to get Windows 11 and the system settings thing is not telling you. So hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know below and thanks for watching.